What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another City Skylines video. So following on from uh, the video I released earlier uh, this week about the intersection marking tool, um, I thought I'm going to have a little bit more of a play with it, fully understand it and uh, I'm going to beautify some junctions and intersections I have. So this is my uh, other world I have, this is one where if you haven't watched it yet I am powering, powering this entire city by their own uh, sewage and you can sort of see in the background uh, the little poo river at the back if you haven't watched that video yet i'll put a link in the top right go watch it it's a really interesting video and i'm uh, going to be challenging myself in city skylines for with, like some of those videos and stuff uh, and i thought yeah i'll give it a go and it'll be quite good fun but in this video i'm going to be using a mixture of uh, some of the network extensions uh, new roads um, as well as Traffic Manager, President's Edition, and also the Intersection Marketing Tool mods uh, and assets to be able to change up this uh, junction to make it a little bit more kind of functional, but also make it look really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. See exactly how I can work it. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter some of the rows using network extensions just to make them operate a little better. Now, I was thinking, oh, I want to make uh, the off-ramp for this road here. I don't want to make it as, uh, I don't want it the road to be um, a turn-off as well as a straightforward, because even though that's cool, but it's, it's not really how junctions work in the UK, especially, yeah, especially in the UK where I drive. Um, I don't know about you guys in America or uh, the rest of the world, um, in Canada. Um, as well i know i had someone comment from canada saying you know it's not just about the britain and canada yeah but you, those two are my biggest audiences so i do apologize for the rest of the people if you are from another country country comment below what country you're from um and yeah i'll see what my audience is actually like but yeah so go back to that point i want to continue three lanes going forward uh, but i want a lane which t only turns off so i want like a filter lane on both sides so what i'm going to do i was I was thinking about cutting this down two lanes, but then I, can't, I yeah, I get rid of traffic. So what I'm going to do is actually turn this into a four-lane section on both sides. So using the here, so this is using the asset I think network extensions, um, really cool mod. I'll link it in the comment section below. I'll actually I'll link to all three mods that I'm using in the comment section below because they are really useful. So yeah, four-lane highway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this section and also on the other side. Uh, like that and so we can see there we've got three straightforward and one turn off and then this will be pretty much the same on the other side now I'll do the same thing on this end like that there we go so you can see the turn off and you can see the three straightforward now we've got to worry about this so we have got two lanes that come in and three lanes come out on this one which isn't a bad thing but on this one we've got actually three lanes going in two lanes coming out which I really don't like so what I am going to do is I'm going to turn this into a two lane and two lane and then we can then have this merge here and it will always be the outer lane that merges in just because that's how it functions so it will be this lane that merges into the left hand lane so these two continue and this one merges in which I'm fine with. Right so now that's done we'll move on to the section uh, for TMPE so we'll move on to traffic manager presence edition now we've got a couple more sections to line up so what we're going to do here is we don't need to worry about uh, these sections going forward because they'll self-operate but what we're going to do is just make sure that these function exactly how we do so what we do is we're using this uh, tool here the lane connector so right you're going to there you're going to there uh, you're going to there and then you're coming off just like so and then we'll come over to this one we say yep you're going there so what this does is just means that the traffic knows we're almost on the end of this road where it's going so that we don't have then traffic or this one trying to come across here or this one going over here it just keeps it nice and tidy might as well while we're going across just do this one you're going to that side and you're going to that side now it looks really trivial what i'm doing but it is really important that you do these sort of things um, because i have known it where you've got a car on this side then trying to cut across here and it causes traffic and it's just not fun it ruins the whole kind of look of it especially if you're trying to make lanes as well so having this one go here uh, this one go to here and this one going to here and then this one into this one then on this side this one to there 
Move this one to there. Ooh, there here. And there. Sorted. So, that's the uh, traffic manager section. Now we're going to be making it beautiful. So, technically, the next stage is uh, optional, but it's for the, basically the primary step of what I'm doing on this whole thing. But if you just wanted this to be functional, uh, then that's exactly what you got here. You now have got free flowing traffic. It's not going to be stuck in tr in jams. You know, you got the highway and the, the motorway, which is traveling through it. You've then got the filter lanes coming in and out, which work really nicely. So don't worry about the next step if you just want it to be functional. Next step is just to make it look pretty. So we come back into the road section and we come to this one, which is the intersection marketing tool. And uh, I've learned a couple more things on this. So uh, they've added uh, an ability that you can actually move these dots. So if I line this up, so I'm holding shift to make it a solid line. Now we can see here that it's not perfectly lined up. So what you can actually do is hold control before you click on the point and you can actually uh, line up where they come. Ooh. Just like so, there you go. So it just, just fits a little bit nice and I, I quite like that. Uh, make it solid. Uh, lines up okay yeah perfect and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make this a solid and also a solid there because that's a filter lane then I'm going to make this a dotted line to continue on from that way there you go now I had a couple people saying oh you should change the dotting line to so it matches well it doesn't match there but it matches here so I'm fine with that here we go. So we can see there already what make what other major difference that's done. So we've got the filter lane which turns off left, um, and we've got the lines in place for actually show that. So it looks really nice. Um, I'm also going to do it here as well, as well, just to make it look nice. And yep. So like so, and then what we're going to do is do it like that. And then do that as a solid just so that then it then opens up as a lane that they can do there and uh, what I'm actually going to do is have this line uh, dash length we're going to have this even smaller oh no we're, uh, 0 0.5 there we go so it looks a little bit nicer uh, I'll yeah, I should probably fix this. Perfect. And they look really nice. Okay. Uh, let's come to the other side. So we've got solid. Uh, dashed. Uh, dashed. And then this one is also dashed. But this one goes to here to be solid. Right. Now it does save straight on, which is technically not true, but that's fine, we'll let it live. So there you go. Right, now we come to this section. So this one is solid, as well as this one. And this one is also solid. And then these ones are all dashed here and here. And then this one is solid. This one is solid. Tidy up that one. And tidy up that one. Ooh. And then I'm happy with that. That looks really, really nice. So already you can see the massive difference on those, what those make. Nice. Uh, I'll come back to those ones, but let's just have a look and see how these look. Yep, pretty awful. So, uh, solid and solid. And then this one's going to be dashed, as it always is, to that one, and then these are dashed here. Voila, looks amazing. Uh, if you think these look good, uh, please put in the comment section below. Uh, also, put in the comment section below what kind of intersections and junctions do you want me to, to give it a go next? Uh, I've done this wrong. Oh, 
here. But yeah, what intersections and stuff do you want, do you want me to do next? Um, like I've done this junctions and these sort of motorway junctions. Uh, do you want me to do a roundabout? Yeah, I think roundabout could be quite interesting to properly line up. Uh, but yeah, comment comment below. Uh, I do enjoy reading your comments. Uh, I know I did a couple of mistakes in my last video uh, with these lines, um, but hey ho, I'm only learning as well. I just want to pass on my knowledge to you. So just going to finish up these on the main highway and see how they look. They look really quite cool. I really like those. Okay. All right, next ones. So we come to here. All right, these ones are going to be fairly simple as well. So these ones are solid, uh, solid. They're basically all going to be solid. Because it's just a merging of lanes. You're solid. You're solid. Solid and solid. Right now we're coming to this section. Now this is where it gets interesting. So it's always the outside lane what opens up. So you're solid, you're it's really going quite far, and then it comes there, and then that one's really solid. I think it's because it's on a ramp. Yeah, oh yeah, it's because it's on the floor. So it's solid, dashed, dashed, solid. Okay. So let's see, and that's the inside lane. Yeah, did that mistake. Uh, okay. Lines. So that's fine. Uh, that's not. And that was not. So I've got the two inside ones. Alright, so that one. And that one. There we go. And the rest of them are fine. But yeah. That's the. Uh, that's the grand scheme of things. I think let's just tidy up some of these lines. It doesn't like being on a high. Ooh, it really doesn't like being raised up. It's a little bit glitchy. But that's workable. That's fine. Because it just jumps off. Because it's trying to track on the floor, not where the uh, actual cursor is. Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Do we do these ones? Yeah, these are the first ones we did. There you go. Some more. This is literally aesthetic. But it just is so good. Um, while I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to do my inspeel. So. If you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up also thumbs up for the mods uh, please put in the comment section below I want to so the things I want to know is what country do you come from um, you yeah, know really love to know where my audience comes from um, do you like this mod what intersections do you want to see me come do next and uh, yeah that's been pretty much it if you're brand new to this channel you've never seen me before or maybe if you've come seen a couple of other videos and you haven't subscribed yet what are you doing hit that subscribe button it literally just takes a second and it really helps out me as a small channel but yeah with that being said guys remember hit the like and subscribe button i've been scotty from blue coconut family thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video goodbye for now